What's up, guys? How you doing? It's your boy G from Learn with Jermaine Grimes. And today I'm going to show you guys how to close a collapsible backdrop. Let's get it. Welcome back, guys. I appreciate you tuning in to the channel. For those who have not done so yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell at the top to stay abreast of all my latest content. So let's get back to the video, all right? So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to close a Forvatech collapsible backdrop. Now, if you've never seen one of these backdrops, uh, they're very, very convenient when it comes to headshots or really to be honest, if you don't want to, uh, let me slide that out the way. If you need a darker backdrop and you don't feel like setting up stands and whatnot, this is the perfect thing for you. I use this mainly for headshots when I do um, business people, entrepreneurs, realtors, as well as when I do school graduate shots, as well as school class pictures. I had to think about it for a second. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, man, like this thing is massive. Uh, I forgot how much I paid for it. Uh, I'll put the link down below. So at that point in time, you can do your research and you can pick one up too as well. As you can see, this thing is humongous. I'm over six feet tall, guys. And uh, horizontally, like this thing is almost my height. You see this? Um, standing this thing up from a vertical standpoint, it's taller than me, as you can see. So this thing is huge. You can set it up. Uh, like what I like to do is I like to place my subjects away from the actual backdrop. And at that point in time, you know, you have their separation and boom, you can get to it. But enough for all of that. That's for a different video. Today, I'm going to show you guys something simple and quick. Um, a lot of people want to know how to close these backdrops, right? So you can do a lot of different things, twisting and turning and all that, but that won't work. I'm going to show you something that's very simple. What you do is you turn this thing. Okay. Now, from a vertical standpoint, I'm going to tell you this before I show you how to close it. You have to decide which side you're going to typically use for your header as well as your footer. What I like to do is, since I have a Velcro strip right here, um, I like to use this segment here as my header. And the reason being is because if I ever need to hang this on an actual stand, I have this Velcro, Velcro strap, excuse me, to assist me with that process, all right? So, back to the video. How to shut this thing down, how to close it up. So, what you wanna do is, since we've already established the footer, you're gonna take your foot, turn this thing towards you, take your foot and put your foot right here, just to stabilize it. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna twist. Boom. So basically what I did was I twist in a manner. If you have any experience with using reflectors in photography, this thing shuts down the same way. It's just done in a wider manner and you have to use a wider stance. And the reason being is because it's, you know, of course, it's larger than your average reflector that you would use in photography. So with that being said, as you can see, I had it closed up and it's pretty good. So look, how about this? Let me do it one more time for you guys. All right. So I'm going to open it up. Uh, this is my top. Take this right here. I'm going to put my foot right here just to stabilize. I got my foot here and just turn from the top and twist. There you go. Boom. Turn and twist. That's it. All right. So let me get the cover. <clears throat> All right, take your cover, slide your cover on right here. I really made this video longer than what it should have been, but it's all it's all good. I wanted you guys to understand the reason why I had this thing in the first place as well. Um, what I do in the future, let me know down in the comments if you guys would like for me to make a video showing you how I actually use this thing. But uh, yeah, again. It's a Fortitech, Fortitech, excuse me, portable backdrop. And man, this thing is a beast, y'all. Um, 
Again, I forgot how much I paid for, but I'll put it down below. And at that point in time, you guys can pick one up and add it to your arsenal. OK, so if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I appreciate you once again. If you have not yet done it, please click that subscribe button and click the notification bell at the top so you can stay abreast of all my latest content. I hope you guys have a blessed day today. Help somebody out if you can. Peace. I'll let you boy.